So, you're the adventurers they've been talking about. Grim Hollow is a campaign setting for the world's most popular role-playing setting, where countless fans of 5th edition from around the world have told stories of monsters and magic. You may have battled Fae in the deep forests of the Sharnor Kingdom, hunted vampires in the city streets of Astoya, or sent raiding fleets from the winter shores of Valica. Or maybe you're new to the world of Grim Hollow and therefore welcome. In either case, the best thing about Grim Hollow is definitely that the stories set there have only just begun. Hello everybody and welcome to the Ghostfire Gaming office. It's um it's just an office. <laughs> My name is Ben Byrne. And it is difficult for me to express how genuinely I am a fan of Grim Hollow and the dark fantasy work of our amazingly talented writing team. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to be the one sharing with you the next chapter in the story of Etheris. But before we can look forward, first we need to take a peek back. Citadel of the Unseen Sun is a 5e adventure set in the gothic realm of the Astoian Empire, where vampires rule as nobles and the sun itself has disappeared from the sky. Citadel of the Unseen Sun was the first adventure module that launched the Fables service back in January of 2022, and ever since even the first episode was released, you the community have been asking us one specific question. Well, today I have a new answer for you in getting to announce Citadel of the Unseen Sun as a physical six book slipcase. And while it will be extremely exciting to hold the Astoian adventure in our hands, a physical release honestly was not part of the original plan for Citadel when the Fable first launched. Therefore, we're thrilled to be crowdfunding this project with Backer Kit for the very first time. Backer Kit has provided us an exclusive opportunity to work on their crowdfunding platform, which has made printing physical copies of Citadel possible. If you are not one of the thousands of adventurers who've journeyed through Astoria yet, allow me to provide you a taste of the dark fantasy adventure that awaits you. We don't have the strength alone. It's the truth. If we try to storm the gates again, we will be killed. By what, though? How long has she been in the ditches? Just a week. She'll learn. I could help. You've never seen the gates of the sun. I have. I know what lurks there. But to explore the Astoian necropolis beyond, it's a scholar's dream. This is no dream. It's not even a nightmare. Nightmare's end. Our imprisonment in the ditches is eternal. But if we can pass through the gates... Horrors unimaginable await beyond the gates. But you have magic, weapons. Together we could survive the necropolis, make it through to the surface, be free there. Free? The sun itself has forsaken Astoria. There is no freedom in the dark. And what would you be willing to sacrifice to get to the surface? Would you give your blood for it? Your friends? Your soul? When you stand in the court of the blood drinkers, haunted by what you've seen, well, you would be a brave hero indeed if you still thought of saving anyone but yourself. Well, I have to try. Someone has to. All of us here. You think we have not tried? Those whose bones hold up these very walls, you think they did not try? If you've given up, I will wait here for others. There must be more like me. I just hope they get here soon.
Ghostfire Gaming is a company which is built on passion projects. It's how we started with the world of Grim Hollow, and it's how we've approached each of our Kickstarters since, really driven by the creative team. When I was brought on board, I was asked what I really wanted to make, and so I took the opportunity to introduce you all to my passion project, the Monster Hunter. This new class 4th edition allows players to explore Etheris through the eyes of a professional slayer of beasts. Initially, the Monster Hunter was developed and published level by level on the Ghostfire blog, with the community watching and contributing as it evolved. And today I want to say that the Monster Hunter's class features have now been brought together into a single PDF document that you can access right here or through the links in the description to this video. So the whole thing can be run from one place. But that's not all. See, the Monster Hunter is still fundamentally in its second, maybe third draft, technically speaking, and it needs more playtesting before it gets a final release. So also linked in the description is a survey that you can fill out to let us know what you think of this new fifth edition class. Now, if you could wait for one moment, compare column B to table seven. If you've already been playtesting the Monster Hunter from the blog, you could even fill out the survey right now if you wanted to. Which subclass did you prefer? The, the fearless carver, the cunning trapper, or the gruesome devourer? A lot of folks have also been speculating where the Monster Hunter might show up in future. Is it linked to a future Grim Hollow product or a Kickstarter? Honestly, the answer is no. I made the Monster Hunter because I thought it was awesome. It was something I was passionate about and it fit really well into the world of Grim Hollow. There will, however, be an official PDF release of the Monster Hunter 1.0 coming in the coming months after the playtest period. And it will be free to the community. An entirely new 5e class for Grim Hollow that anybody who wants to dip a toe into the world of dark fantasy can have access to. You think I'm afraid to die? No friend. In my line of work, there are worse things that can happen to a hunter than death. This is simply a matter of price. If you remember this timeline graph from earlier in the year, you may have been eagerly anticipating the launch of the next Grim Hollow Kickstarter that we indicated would be coming in November. Well, we've had to push that Kickstarter into Q1 of 2023 because it's not quite ready for us to show publicly. This is the next big step in the story of Grim Hollow, and we want to make sure it's perfect before proudly presenting it to you all. A few weeks ago in the office, we got a detailed look at what Sean Merwin and James Haig have been working on for the future of Grim Hollow, and let me tell you, I am pumped for what they have in store. I have been forbidden from revealing too much more uh, about it, unfortunately, but I definitely wouldn't leave you without at least a little bit of a clue as to what we have in store. <laughs> 